Coach Gates here. Uh, happy Monday. I'm sitting outside on my deck right now, and it's raining lightly. So if you hear that in the background. But I uh, wanted to give a little update today on our schedule moving forward for all of you guys that have been uh, dedicated driveline throwing program guys. It's just an interesting look at the next four weeks. I changed up the... Uh, the routine a little bit, so I want to get into showing you that. Um, before I do that, I also want to show you some of those leaderboards that I talked about. So only I can see these leaderboards. You might be able to see things like radar gun velocity for yourself and workout completion percentage for yourself. But when we, uh, you know, when we get back to practicing, I'm going to be able to post these at practice and show you things like. Like this one, which is a weighted ball pull-down leaderboard. Garrett's got radar gun uh, results entered from the last four weeks. For all you guys, you'll see those results here when, you are, uh, when you're getting radar gunned at a practice. This is the workout completion leaderboard. So Matt Fliegler, over the last 14 days, has the highest pitching workout completion percentage. And he's tied with Kevin for the highest strength workout completion leaderboard percentage there. One interesting thing about these leaderboards, if it's an off day and you don't hit complete all on the off day, I'm pretty sure they count that against your overall workout percentage. So listen, honestly, if you're into this program and you're dedicated, make sure you're checking those green complete arrows even on off days. If you're not going to do something click skipped, then they don't uh, count it against your percentage. Um, it just kind of, you know, it's rewarding to, to see those high numbers. Garrett is guilty of that. You know, I'll tell you, he barely ever misses a day. But I yell at him all the time because he doesn't go on on his own and click complete on those workouts. So you can see his numbers are kind of low. Uh, some of you are even lower. I, I know only some guys have been real... Uh, you know, dedicated and committed to sticking with this program. And you might, listen, you might be throwing on your own. You might be hitting on your own. That's fine. This is not something that's required. Um, you know, I can't force you to do it. You don't all have the weighted balls. But, you know, I'm, I'm telling you as, as a coach, to me, this is the, the most, uh, you know, well-planned out and specific throwing program that I've used with a team or for my own son. So that's just a little look at those uh, – those leaderboards, once we are lucky enough to start getting back together, you'll see some of these radar gun results up there as well. And when we start throwing off a mound, I'm going to be able to share those numbers also. Now let's go to the calendar. Um, I'll click on Garrett. He was one day off your workout schedule, but I threw in an extra off day to get him on schedule with you guys. So we are here. Uh, Monday, May 11th, today's a plyo care velocity day. And that basically means... Um, you're going to do a normal warm up and then you're going to get into reverse throws, pivot picks, roll ins, rockers, and walking wind ups. I know, uh, rumor has it Mike Savoni got a radar gun, so he'll be able to input the radar results for those throws today. Today is Monday, it's a velo day. When you're inputting the radar gun results, they match up with the drive line balls. You know, when and if anybody's got a radar gun or has access to a radar gun, just make sure that you figure out what your weighted balls weigh and you match them up with the weight of the driveline balls. I have, an, I have a chart that you can use to compare that. All right. So now our schedule this week is a normal type of schedule. You're doing the Plyo Care Velo Day on a Monday. Let me just get back to the calendar. All right, so today is a plyo care velo day. Tomorrow's a regular recovery day. Wednesday is a hybrid day. So that means Wednesday would be the day you throw a flat ground type of bullpen. I'm going to send out a reminder for Wednesday. I want you guys to spin all your pitches Wednesday. If you have an opportunity to throw to someone, if you can get dad with a catcher's glove, that's awesome. Treat it like a command session. You're not going to throw your hardest, but you do want to start working on two seam and four seam, both sides of the plate. You want to start spinning your breaking ball. You want to throw your change up. That's Wednesday. Thursday is a regular recovery day. You want to go light on Wednesday because Friday would be a pull down day. 
when we're lucky enough to start having some workouts together, this would be a day everyone gets radar gunned. All right, so that would be Friday. If you don't have a radar gun, you should still be going max intent when you perform your pull downs. If you have the ability to get up to a field, even if it's a park, you don't need a baseball field. A park with a fence works great for pull downs because it gives you a little bit more room to get into the run stage of the running gun. Gives you a little bit more freedom and a little bit more room. Saturday's a recovery day. Sunday's your off day. Now, beginning next week, week two of this one-month schedule, our routine is going to change. You're looking here. Next Monday is a bullpen day. What I'm envisioning is once we are able to have some guys get together to work out, maybe pitchers have a chance to throw to catchers on a Monday bullpen day. All right. If you're not, you know, able to get to a field, uh, if you don't have someone to throw to, the bullpen's going to be thrown then into a net in your yard. A lot of you have managed to get those bullpens in. Uh, I've seen AJ throwing in a parking lot with, I'm assuming, with Dad. That works perfect. You don't always have to have a mound. All right. So bullpen day next Monday, it's going to be a full bullpen. One of the things I'm hoping is to start building up the pitch count a little bit. And I'm going to talk to you guys about that. Start focusing on the off-speed stuff and the breaking balls. And hopefully, when possible, throw to a catcher. Tuesday and Wednesday will both be recovery days leading into a pull-down day on Thursday. So the way I design this, Tuesday is a no-throw recovery day. That means that you won't do reverse throws, pivot picks. It'll just be the band work, the tubing work. It's almost like an off day when it comes to your throwing program. Wednesday would be more of a regular recovery day where there will be some plyo throws involved. And I'm going to remind you guys on Wednesdays after bullpens, this is beginning next week, to add a drill or two if your arm feels good. That'll prepare you for the pull downs on Thursday. And what I'm hoping here is if some guys have the availability to start meeting up in small groups a couple times a week, we could do that on the bullpen day and the pull down day. Because then, you know, if we have a catcher and we have the radar gun there, maybe we can start doing the driveline throwing program together. Guys that are not able to meet up, you have everything you need here on a laptop, on your phone. You're just going to throw into a net or you're going to throw to a parent. It'll work out just fine both ways. Uh, so this kind of calendar we're going to follow for three weeks where you go bullpen day, no throw recovery, recovery, pull downs. So for next week, the bullpen's on Monday. The pull downs are on Thursday. In week three, the bullpens are on Tuesday. The pull downs are on Friday. In week four, the bullpens are on Monday. The pull downs are on Thursday. So basically, if we were to get into a season during the summer, I would try to use this calendar so that we have bullpen days and game days. And when we're not together at a field practicing or playing games, those are your recovery days. The responsibility here is on you guys to make sure that you are getting yourself ready. Listen, if you haven't been doing any of these driveline throws, when we get to bullpen day and pull down day, you're not going to be ready for it. That's the God's honest truth. If you don't pitch, one thing that I uh, you know, tried to work into this, I think it might look different for guys that don't pitch. Let me open up Colin's page. If you don't pitch, instead of bullpen day, I think I may have called it long toss day. No, actually what I called it was just the plyo care velocity day. So if you don't pitch, uh, you know, two, three, four guys that don't pitch on our team, instead of bullpen, it just says plyo care velocity, which is, you know, arm strengthening. You can long toss at the end. Um, if you're a catcher and you were to join us for a small group workout in a couple of weeks, you might long toss when you're not catching a pitcher as part of your quote unquote bullpen day. The other thing I want to show you guys quickly, let me go back to Garrett or one of the pitchers. Um, driveline eliminated the warmups. All right. So those purple warmups, I know a lot of guys hated them. Garrett hated them. You still got to warm up on your own. Maybe it's some high knees, some jumping jacks, some burpees. Just get your body warmed up before you begin the throwing portion each day. 
Now, this stuff is a conditioning phase. It's some sprint work and it's your strength work. So today being a throwing day, you have med ball exercises and strength exercises. It's similar workouts to what you've done. Might be a slightly different routine each day. On the non-throwing days, instead of strength, you have the speed workout. So they call it the conditioning, cycle one conditioning. So it's a mix of running exercises and conditioning exercises. And what I'm hoping is we have to start getting some cardio built up again. We got to start running a little bit. If you love long distance running, that works are awesome. I know Matt Fliegler said he does, uh, rides the bike sometimes. These workouts are an excellent way to get the heart pumping a little bit as well. On some of the recovery days, it's a speed workout or a conditioning workout. On the no throw recovery days, you're off from strength training. You'll see it's off day for strength training on the no throw recovery days. And then obviously most Sundays, one week it's a Saturday, you have a complete day off. So hopefully uh, hopefully you're enjoying this programming. You know, I think it's awesome. It's a great way. Um, I had this conversation with a parent the other day. What if, you know, what if I'm not able to send my son if we do start beginning some sort of small group workouts? Well, this calendar right here, this is what we would be doing. So if you're not able to join us, maybe to throw a bullpen or something like that, you're home, you have the exact same workout. Um, it's going to be great as we transition back, hopefully, to practice. You know, I can modify the schedule. If the state reopens fully and we're able to have full team practices, I would try to match up this calendar with those full team practices. All right. So um, remember, I'm going to show you those leaderboards again. When you go on driveline, make sure you are always checking complete. Here's those workout completion numbers. I know a lot of you never miss. But if you're not checking complete on off days and if you're not hitting skip instead of complete on something that you don't do, even if you choose not to long toss that day, you should still hit skip so it doesn't affect your workout numbers. All right. Um, you guys on this page here have done a great job. You've got high percentages. I know that there's guys that don't show up here in the top six or so that are doing these workouts. I think some of you... Uh, if you're competitive and you want to see the numbers go up, you just got to make sure you're checking complete on the workouts. And um, if you have any questions about any of this stuff, please send me messages today. I want to make sure that you get off to a good start. All right, so today's VLO day. Um, remember, just because you don't have a radar gun doesn't mean that you can't get after it. You know, whether you're throwing into a net or throwing, you know, that's a good point. VLO day, plyo VLO day, you should be throwing into a net or a fence. Um, don't take it easy on uh, on dad or your little brother and, and take it you know take it easy throwing those weighted balls. You want to get after it, you're better off throwing into a net or a fence. All right. Um, any questions again, get back to me. I'm hoping by uh, you know within the next couple of weeks we, we can get some pitchers and catchers together maybe to throw some bullpens. And, uh, you know, I know Coach Lou said he, he'd be able to throw some batting practice in those small groups. So that's what I'm hoping we can get to. In the meantime, get out there, throw, hit, whatever you got to do to get yourself ready. All right, Red Dogs, have a great uh, week. Happy Monday. Get your schoolwork done and then get outside and throw. Adios.